Whoops, I didn't even mean to break my own platform there, actually. Oh, they break the platforms, too. Interesting. Splash out here, too. Oh, nice power node. Ooh, another new area. Cool. shoots these little piddly shots if I corrupt them. It's pretty funny. Looks like there's gotta be something back there. There's no way I'd be able to get it though. Yeah, it does. Yeah, you get that kind of weird frame rate issue on the stream. I don't know how many FPS it's, uh, I mean, definitely, the game definitely runs at 60. I don't know how it's, what it's streaming at, either. I mean, I'm just using the PS4 streaming, so. get a real, like, Meridia, Super Metroid vibe from this music.
Yeah, it probably streams at 30. I wish I could record it in 60. One of these days, I'm gonna end up getting myself a like a real capture card sort of deal, like I don't know, like an Elgato or an internal card or something like that. So if I do end up doing you know PS4 games, console games, uh, I'll have a better recording method. Yeah, I've actually heard that too. Um, Elgato seems to be kind of just the the standard just because it's easy, but I heard it's not the greatest, so I'm kind of hesitant to really go for something. Oh, what was that? Big bubbles, okay. That is Veruska. Very dangerous, but our ally. Oh, okay. I figured you were sort of network supercomputers. Our word is Rizalki. It is like a water machine. Yeah, that's that's actually kind of interesting. Rusalka is, uh, I believe, the Russian word for mermaid. All been damaged. The situation you see is emergency. If you can be able to repair drones, it will greatly help. Just the power filter isn't enough. It was the bare minimum for survival. Whatever you are, I'm not going to let you die without a fight. Eh. I mean, I guess Trace doesn't really have much of a choice. What else is he going to do around here? 
Man, these things are so cool looking though. Oh, it's awesome. Kind of creepy too, but really neat looking. Bubbles can't be corrupted from those. Yeah, I'd say I'm definitely intrigued about, you know, like, where this is all going. Uh, I know, I, I guess some of the complaints are saying, you know, people said that the story start, starts off, like, really slow and stuff, but, I mean, I'm having a ton of fun exploring, so, like, even what bits I'm getting right now, I think, are awesome. Like, it's definitely very intriguing. I think the atmosphere and everything is set up really, really well. jump up there yet. Yeah, I, I kind of tend to agree also. <laughs> you can probably hear my cat in the background. Sorry about that. Um, I, you know, it's something someone else said that I agree with is that I'm having a ton of fun exploring. Like, when I went to that secret area, if that secret area had, like, no item in it, I really wouldn't have been bothered because it was just cool to explore. Like, I just, like, this whole environment and everything is really, really interesting to explore. Especially with all the tools you have, like the drill and the the glitch gun, it's like really neat like finding out the different things you can do. And like the environments are just crazy, like stuff like this is just nuts. Oh actually that's interesting. The um like the seaweed stuff on the walls actually slows me down a little. I don't know how long it is. I mean, so far my initial impression is I hope it's really long because I want to explore like a lot of it, but I have no idea. Um, my guess would be, I don't know, maybe like eight or nine hours for something like this. I, I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea. Yeah, it's actually got a speed run mode too, which is kind of interesting. Whoa. Jesus. Are you still gonna fire lasers at me? Oh my god. Oh, they're blue. Blue or friendly. Okay. Um, yeah, it's got a speedrun mode too that, like, I guess a little, like, bits and pieces are changed to be more. Uh, friendly for speedrunning. I was gonna have to check that out. Yeah. 
red doors are usually dangerous. Oh no, it's a save room. Huh. broke blocks for me. Wow, it's like a little secret passageway up this whole area. That's really cool. <laughs> Oh, hey, there's a... Oh, no, I can't reach it. What a tease. Can I get up this way? I can, but I can't get through this. It's like glitched, breakable blocks. Hmm. Alright. Yeah, music's pretty cool. I definitely this is definitely way different than like the other tracks I've heard so far. Unexpected. All right, we're definitely gonna try to glitch you. Guys. Oh, oh, no. oh, yes, we do. I'm trying to glitch you. like a morph ball of some sort at some point, because it's the second time I've seen an area like that. No, I haven't. What's that? Field disruptor. Alters local physics to automatic dump. Oh, sweet. High jump. Nice. Huh. I'll have to look into that. Yeah, there's actually, I was trying to think, there's a lot of places, like, way back in the beginning even, that I could use the high jump, so... That'd be interesting to see go back, like, see what we can find now. Oh 
god. Oh no. <laughs> I knew it. as soon as he turned the corner he was gonna get me. Well, at least I just spawned back here. Yeah, I'll have to look it up. Sounds kind of interesting. Yeah, I, like, that's... You know, I, I mean, I guess if you were a purist or whatever, that would kind of bug you. But I love that you don't lose, like, the items you picked up when you die. Like, ugh, that's so good. It always bugs me when, like, you know, you have to retrace your steps over this huge area just to pick up the items again. I just want to keep exploring. Oh, it's so weird getting used to the high jump now, too. It's very variable, though. I think I can get this, uh, this item up here now, I'm pretty sure. Oh, you dirty rats. Maybe I do have to come back to this area later then. I think all the other areas had different blocks in them. Unless... Nah. There's no way that'll hit. Nah. Hmm. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, developer seems pretty cool. I talked to him a little bit at PAX, and, you know, he just seems like he's a gamer. He grew up on these games. He wants, you know, he wanted to create the game that he wanted to play. I think that's, when you're talking game design, that's the best way to do it, if you ask me. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to stop there for now though. I got some other stuff to do tonight. Um, I'll be streaming this again because I'll be recording it this way. So even if you miss it, um, I'll be putting it on YouTube. So 